Hi all, today we're going to install the Easy Proxy Authenticator for Alma. So what this means is we have an institution that uses Easy Proxy in order to allow students to gain access to materials when they're not located on campus. And we have users who are authenticated inside of Alma using the Exlibris Identity Provider. So we need to hook up Easy Proxy so that it's able to authenticate those users against Alma. So in order to do that, we are going to head over to the developer network. And on the developer network, we can search for Easy Proxy. You can also Google, of course. And we have the Easy Proxy Authenticator for Alma. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this tells us that the Easy Proxy Authenticator can be used to authenticate users stored in the Xlibris Identity Service via this external script authentication. So that's the way that Easy Proxy allows you to authenticate against other sources like the Exlibris Identity Service. So it says here it has one click deployment to AWS and it does authentication of internal users via API key. And we can also map Alma user groups to Easy Proxy groups. So we'll see how all of this works now together. So let's go click on the more info link and that's going to take us to the GitHub uh, project for the Easy Proxy Authenticator. And we'll scroll down here. It provides some more information to us about how to configure and we'll get to that in a moment. And it says here how to deploy and configure the authenticator. So this authenticator can easily be installed in uh, Amazon Web Services in AWS. So for those of you who have not used AWS, you can create a free account um, and they have a free tier, which makes it essentially uh, without cost to use these types of services. Uh, and even if you're not on the free account, because of the way this authenticator works, it's just simple API calls. And so those are very little if, if, if no cost whatsoever. So I've already uh, logged in to AWS and now all I have to do is click on this link and we're going to uh, hop right into the AWS console. So this um, automatically gets set up for us where our, our information for the authenticator is coming from. And we're going to provide a name. And here we're just going to say Easy Proxy Authenticator Demo. And it's asking for a few parameters. It's asking for my Alma API key. Um, so if we stop back over here, it says that we need an API key. Uh, that has read write access for users. So let's go into our developer network and grab an API key that has read write access for users. So I'm in the developer network again. I'm logged in. I can click on build my APIs. I can click on API keys. And, you know, I'm just going to create a new API key just for the purposes of our tests here. So I'll say add a new API key. I'll call it easy proxy test and I will add a permission and it says that it needs uh, users and I'm going to have it actually run uh, in in production that's fine and I'm going to say read write because that's what it tells me that I need actually you know I'll have it run in sandbox just for our testing purposes so I'm going to go ahead and save that, and then I'll scroll down to our Easy Proxy Test, and I'll go and grab it, and I'll head back over to our parameters, and I'll stick in our key here. And also, we're going to talk about this group mapping in a minute. For now, I'm just going to use the group mapping that uh, that it provides as a default. So I have to click off some boxes here that I know it's going to create some resources in AWS. And so while that's happening, I'm going to click on Create Stack. And that's fine. So now it's going to go in the background and create uh, this little AP, mini API endpoint for us to be able to use. And while it's doing that, let's talk for a moment about um, how to do easy proxy groups. So what the authenticator allows us to do is to map user groups in Alma to their uh, easy, easy proxy group uh, instead. So it has this little format here called JSON. So if you're not familiar with that, it's just a way of providing data 
to uh, applications, specifically applications written in JavaScript, although other languages as well. And what it is is a list of, um, of easy proxy groups that we want to have it return and a list of Alma groups that map to those easy proxy groups. So for example, in this case, if the user is a part of the staff group, then we'll return the word staff. If the user is a part of the graduate students group, we'll return the word graduate students. And then for all other values, we'll just return a value called everyone. And now it tells us we can, we can uh, do a compact view. So in order, let's say you wanted to make changes here. You wanted to add some more values or change things around. And then you wanted to compact that. So you could go over and you can just Google for uh, JSON uh, Minify or JSON Compact. Um, and you can choose any one of these. I, I happen to have chosen this one here, you can see. And so I have this value that I just copied directly out of the readme file. Let's say I want to put another value here like um, uh, you know, val. And then I can say minify the JSON. And all this does is it puts it in, uh, in one line for me, okay? which is just a nice way of, of allowing me to copy this and then paste it into my, uh, my parameter if I wanted to. So let's hop back over here to uh, the work that was happening in the background. And it tells me that it's now completed. And I can click on the Outputs tab, and I have a URL. So this URL is going to be my authenticator. It says URL of the authenticator. So I'm going to copy that. And if I go back to the readme to the instructions, it says once I have that, I want to configure EasyProxy. So I can follow the instructions in this link to the EasyProxy documentation. And I can add this line to the user.txt file. So it'd be external just like that. And the only thing I have to do differently is change this URL, of course, for the one that I just copied from my version. Um, and so what I've done is just to be able to, to demonstrate this is I have a small little file on my, on my desktop that allows me to test this. And I'm just putting this URL here uh, in that spot there. And then I can go ahead and click on that little test file. Just to, just to check if this works. So I have my easy proxy tests. I'm going to put in a, a username here, and I'll just go and grab the uh, credentials for that username, which is here for me. And I'll click on Submit. And what this is going to do is it's going to uh, make a call to that URL and uh, the, that URL that we just created in Amazon will actually authenticate the user against Alma. If the user is authenticated, it's going to grab the user group. It's going to run through that mapping that we showed. And then it returns this format here, which is what EasyProxy expects to see. So it says it's valid, and then it's going to give the group. So this allows you kind of to test to see if it's working correctly. You can test with different users and make sure that your group is coming back correctly based on the mapping of the user group for that particular user. So that's really all there is to it. Um, I'll just show you one more thing here in the uh, in AWS. It'll take a little bit of time if you haven't used it before to you know learn your way around. Um, but one quick uh, demo here is if you go into the resources tab, then you see uh, all of the things that we just created. And one of them is a function. So here where it says function, I can click on this. And that is going to give me, it's going to open up this uh, interface here. And the important part that I want to show you is down here in environment variables. So if I did want to change this easy group mapping, I could click on edit and I could, let's say, go and grab what I have here and I can paste it back into here uh, and I can click on save. Uh, and then I'm able to, that's how I'm able to update the mapping if I want to or the API key alternatively. So that's how we use this nice small easy proxy authenticator to hook up easy proxy to our users that are installed installed in Alma.